AMC members have long enjoyed skiing, and our archives are home to a number of home videos. Here we are at AMC's Pinkham Notch Camp on a busy day, circa 1950. Here we see a couple of skiers crossing the bridge at the Cutler River on the Tuckerman Ravine Trail, headed up to ski in the ravine. On to the Tucks Ranger Station, formerly known as Howard Johnson's. And here you see Huntington Ravine with a little wind blowing up off the crest. Although otherwise a beautiful day, and here are some very ant-like skiers heading down the lower head wall. Up in Tuckerman Ravine itself, you have some slalom races going on, probably hosted by the U.S. Eastern Amateur Ski Association. And ski lifts were readily available at this time, yet people still kept coming back to Tuckerman's because it was so far out, so rugged, and such a huge challenge. Although the ravine itself was a challenge, the other test was skiing back down the trail to Pinkham Notch Camp. These folks seem to be handling it pretty well. Solid stem Christie turns and snow plow. Heading south in New Hampshire, we come to Alexandria, the home of the AMC's Cardigan Lodge. The lodge and area around it was scouted in 1929 specifically for skiing. We purchased the old farmstead in the 30s, improved the lodge uh, and the little house that's right next to it that you can see kind of in the background of some of these shots. And it became an instant ski mecca. Cardigan was a place for all kinds of parties, square dances, ski races of all kinds, including in costume, um, all kinds of ski trials and trainings, junior weekends, just a place to come during the winter and, and really have a good time. Cardigan is a great place to learn to ski. It has gentle slopes and they would have weekends that would cater just to that sort of thing. If you were just a beginner, it was a terrific place to, to try out this new sport.